Well, um, well, I'd been playing with Al for just about nine years. Uh, it's a, actually a really funny story. I was, uh, I was of course working like all other guitar players around town, doing sessions and gigs, and um, I got called to do a benefit, and it was with Al Jarreau, and I was very excited about it. So, of course, uh, we went and rehearsed, and then the gig came. It was at Pepperdine in Malibu, and uh, I was feeling great about everything, and. The show was to begin that we all came out playing percussion instruments, and then I was to go to my guitar and start playing a montuno. And we were going to start the gig, right? Well, so we go out, we're playing our percussion, I get over to my rig, and all the power is off except my amps. And I have two amps behind me on risers. So the tech comes running over, and remember, I haven't played a note with Al Jarreau live yet. So the tech comes running over, and he says, just plug your guitar right straight into the amp and we'll figure it out. Okay, great. So as I turn around to plug my guitar in, I step on the cable and the amplifier comes crashing off the riser onto the microphone. So if anybody out there has ever hit the side of a reverb combo and you know how loud that is, imagine with an open microphone this thing falling three feet on it and, in the, and it went out in the house. So at this point, I'm shaking like a leaf. So Al, being the, the kind gentleman that he is, uh, made a joke out of it. And of course, I thought I would never see him again. But one week later, uh, I got the call to start touring with him. And that was nine years ago. Uh, now, I don't recommend to anybody out there listening to uh, use that as an audition <laughs> technique. But <laughs> well, Al works a lot, you know, and uh, of course, Every summer, from spring to fall, it's constant work. You know, we always tour Europe um, and America, all the jazz festivals, Montreux, North Sea, uh, and it's wonderful. You know, with Al, he's he's like an ambassador to the world, kind of, and uh, his music is fabulous. I get to play funk, uh, jazz, and pop, and everything in between, and. Uh, Everything that I studied and worked for, uh, I get to do on this gig and more. And uh, no two concerts are ever the same. You know, Al likes things to be changed all the time. And uh, it's a wonderful challenge. Well, uh, we've just finished, of course, a long summer of touring. And um, I was just in Denver last weekend. And uh, two weeks we go to play the Beacon Theater in New York. And then um, I haven't looked at the whole schedule for early next year, but uh, there's the St. Thomas in the Caribbean and uh, some other shows. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's kind of a an important thing for people that should know that uh, I, I do sing a lot with Al. I, I'm not a like a great lead singer, but uh, I'm I'm a strong background singer and. Uh, Al requires a lot of background vocals, and that uh, that also makes a difference in getting work. You know. Wow, that's an interesting question. What's the most important thing for backing? Uh, in this band, particularly, it's listening. You know, that you draw on your experience. You know, uh, if the part, if everybody's playing, you know. <laughs> whatever the changes are. If everybody's going crazy, maybe your job is just to go <laughs> or maybe your job is to play a lot, but uh, interacting with the musicians is probably the, the number one thing I, I would imagine, you know, staying out of the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, name dropping time. <laughs> well, uh, People from Japan probably know Takashi Numazawa, a great drummer, and he and I worked a lot together. Uh, I did one, one run over in Japan with the 13 Cats guys, Cat Gray and those guys. And Anybody who doesn't know 13 Cats, go out and find those CDs, because it's amazing. Uh, let's see, I, I'm kind of here in LA, I'm kind of uh, in the smooth jazz world, and uh, smooth jazz gets, uh, criticized a lot, but 
the reality is that in that genre of music are a lot of excellent players, and uh, I'm proud to be uh, affiliated with some of them. I played with Rick Braun for quite a while, and a uh, great trumpet player and uh, solo artist, and also a really good producer. And Rick has used me on uh, his records and uh, David Benoit's records. I just finished doing uh, about eight tracks, I think, on uh, Paul Schiltz's latest record that just came out. He's the sax player from Down to the Bone. Uh, through my affiliation with Al Jarreau, I toured with um, Yolanda Adams, who's an amazing gospel artist, and uh, Cassandra Wilson, who's a brilliant jazz singer, kind of a rootsy jazz singer. Great, great stuff. Um, I'm sure there's others I'm <laughs> forgetting.